Okay, as promised, <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick video demonstrating what I'm um, asking you to do for your homework on the latter part. Now, I'm not problems four, five, and six. I'm not going to use the data, but I'm just going to use the data that we use in the handout to demonstrate calculating the slope and the y-intercept and the error values. These are these are from that table, the x-y values. But what I want to do is I want to demonstrate how to plot the values, and then I also want to demonstrate how to do the line EST. So basically, if you've got a set of XY data that you would like to plot, you can come along here and you can highlight the data, as I'm doing here. Then if you go up to the top, <clears throat> you would insert a chart. And so I am going to insert an XY scatter chart, which is this type here. And I just want to insert basically a simple scatter chart. Okay, now I will pull this kind of over out of the way. And of course you can go in and format the chart and, and whatnot. You also want to double check that you got the X values on the X axis and the Y values because sometimes if you have Y here and then X here, of course it'll, it'll plot it down here so you can tell just based on the axis values that I've got them in the correct place. I'm not going to label them at this point. I just want to demonstrate setting a trend line. So if you click on these points, you can right click and it'll bring up a little right clicking brings up a little con contextual menu for the data points and you can just click on add trend line. And when you do that, <clears throat> if you're wanting to add a linear line or uh, a linear line is a little redundant, but if you want to add a line, not an exponential function or a logarithmic or, or a polynomial or anything, and that's for standard curves, you're just typically going to be doing a linear. Then you would come down under options and you display the equation on the chart. You can also go ahead and we'll just display the um, R square value on the chart as well. This R square value actually gives you a, an indication of how um, well your data fits. And so we've got that. Um, the closer R square is to one, actually, the better the data fits. So, so a lot of times people will put that on there. If you're very far away from one, it indicates your data is not fitting overall very well to the line. But here, the data fits very well because it's, it's very close to one. Now, that is plotting a line. This is the best fit line. And so here you can see you've got the slope and you've got the um, y-intercept. And if you look back at our handout, these values actually match up with what we got from our handout as well. So you've got... Um, <clears throat> 1.78, 1.879, and you got 1.86, and both of those values match up with what we got. Now, however, this doesn't give you the error measurements that we calculated by manually, and as I was promising to show you, you could do this very simply with what's known as line EST. So I'm going to click over here in this cell, and I'm going to start my formula. Now, enter an equal sign, and we'll go line. Whoops. Line E S or line S T open parentheses. Now <clears throat> you can if you don't remember it actually will tell you and I um, the start with a Y value so you go to the known Y's and you just select those you select the range you'll put that there then you hit a comma and you select your Y your X values and you hit a comma now remember this next one if um, <clears throat> if we do True is calculated normal. True is the default. So you can either enter true or you can just leave it blank. True is default. So we'll do comma. And then here, um, we want it to return additional regression um, st statistics. And so we will um, enter true after that second comma. And then we'll close with um, a parentheses. And so if we hit enter, you can see here we're getting the um, slope value. This is the same value we have from the line, but that's the slope value. Now remember I told you the beauty of this was really that it, not just that it'll calculate the slope, but that it will calculate all of those um, error functions. And so I'm going to select a two by three box. Okay, and it's two across, three down. And then I'm going to come up here in the formula bar. And I'm on a Windows machine, and so the I put the cursor in the Windows bar up here, and I'm going to hold Control Shift and press Enter. And you can see when I hold Control Shift and press Enter that I am going to get. And if if I click away from it, 
Um, I'm going to click OK. All right, now I am getting an error message, so let me let me see what what that was doing. I, I guess I clicked on something that indicated I was trying to change the array, but I do not want to change the array, so I just click cancel on that. And so now you can see in the array, which is listed here, I have the slope, I have the y-intercept, I have the error associated with the slope, I have the error associated with the y-intercept, and if you look at our handout, that matches the values from our handout. And then we have down here the r-square value, which matches this r-square value up here, and then we have the calcul um, the uh, error, the y-error, and so this y-error value, which we have um, same value from our handout. So there you have it. That's using plotting XY data, fitting a trend line to the XY data, and also um, applying line EST. And as I mentioned, there are other functions, um, other uh, parameters that you get if you expand the array, but those six parameters are what we are looking for for these problems, the problem five and six um, for this week's handout.